the birth line, bipolar flows, and Titori stars. That's what this section is going to cover. When the hydrogen cloud collapses, it starts to heat up. When it gets hot enough, it begins to fuse hydrogen into helium. So that's kind of how a star is forming. You see here? So this is the cloud of gas, the original cloud of gas. You see, lots of lots of molecules, and then it's starting to collapse. Something caused it to collapse. Either a supernova explosion happened or by just by gravity. And so now it's starting to collapse. Most of the mass is accumulating in the middle. That is what's going to form a star. Okay? The gas remaining on the outside starts furling around. You see this gas? It starts going to be turning around the star. What's going to be formed from this remaining gas? It starts with the letter P. And then L. Planets. These star, these other gases will eventually form into planets. So planets are the byproduct of star formation. Star forms, the gas around the star forms planets. You see? So now what happens as the star is forming? This gas starts twirling around, lots of energy starts forming, and then it releases that energy. This is known as bipolar flow. You see the release of energy this way and the release of energy this way. <laughs> okay? Finally, when the star becomes a fully fledged main sequence star, the bipolar flow stops. The energy is not released anymore. And now the star has become a Roman numeral 5 main sequence star. You see? Right here. So when the hydrogen gas cloud collapses, it starts to heat up. Now it has crossed the birth line. So here's another way we could visualize the birth of the star. We can visualize the birth of the star by plotting the original gas from which the star came on the HR diagram. So imagine you have an original gas, half the, solar, half the mass of the sun. So its luminosity is pretty big, but it's very cold. It starts to collapse, it starts to collapse. You see this dotted line? What does that dotted line represent? That dotted line represents the birth line. Once the protostar has passed the birth line, it is now doing the PP chain proton-proton chain. It is fusing hydrogen into helium, forming energy. It has now become a protostar. You see? So once it crosses the birth line, during this stage, it's called a protostar. Another name for it is T-Tauri star. Okay? T-Tauri star. See, this is one solar mass. Collapses, collapses, passes the birth line, Collapses, collapses, gets hotter, 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 and then finally relaxes on the uh, main sequence. Two times the mass of the sun. Collapses, collapses, crosses the birth line, gets hotter, hotter, bigger, 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 ends up over there on the main sequence. Five times the mass of the sun. Collapses, collapses, gets very hot, gets very hot. Why? Because it has more mass. Gets very hot and big. It, it can't collapse a lot. See, it goes like that. It, goes, well, it crosses the birth line. It gets bigger, 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 hotter, 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 and uh, goes on the main sequence. 15 times the mass of the sun. So you can see the pattern. You see there? Like that. And then lies on the main sequence right there. Okay, so then it becomes a main sequence star. So once it crosses the birth line, it is called the protostar. It's about to, to become a star. Another name for the protostar is a T-Tauri star because the first protostar that was studied very carefully was in the constellation Taurus. So they called protostars t stars. The protostar will emit jets of gas along its poles. This is called bipolar flows. So during this stage, the protostar stage, it's emitting that energy that I showed you earlier. One this way, one this way. You see? The protostar is very hard to see because all this gas is surrounding the protostar. So 
It's inside of a cocoon of gas, so it is not visible to telescopes. However, these bipolar flows heat up the surrounding gas of the star, and it allows us to detect these. Um, it allows us to detect the protostar. So, what do you? What do we mean by this? This one is my favorite one to show you usually. I like this one. You see here? Inside of here, there is a protostar forming. We, we can't really see it, right? All this gas is surrounding it. The protostar is probably spinning this way. You see, the, the, the gas is surrounding it like this. The protostar is starting to form. What did I say is going to happen? The protostar is going to shoot out gas jets this way, and then gas jets this way. If there is a neighborhood, some gas in the neighborhood, what's going to happen to that gas as this jet of energy is coming out? See how it's lit up? As this jet of energy is coming this way, you see how this is lit up? That object is known as a herbig hero object. Why such a fancy name? Again, named after scientists who studied them, Herbig and Hero. Okay, so Herbig and Hero said, if you are seeing lit up gases like that, it's an indication that there is a protostar forming in the middle somewhere. You see, that's, that's a really good picture to visualize. This way, this way, lit up, lit up, there's a protostar there, you see? 